by 75,000 jobs in New York and thousands more across the country. Rising into the skies of Manhattan, it becomes a beacon of hope, the promise of a better future. As Christmas rolls around, the construction workers buy a 20-foot Christmas tree that their families decorate with handmade garlands. Up on the high steel, you'll find New Yorkers, immigrants from across Europe, and the famous Mohawk Nation Skywalkers. Walking on 18-inch beams, 70 stories up while catching molten iron rivets is just a day at the office for these fearless crews. Oh, thank you. One fateful day, the workers break for a PR photo session, giving the city and the world an unforgettable image for the ages. As the work goes on, John T. wants to create more than just buildings. He wants to create a public work of art. A group of world-class artists and sculptors join the engineers, architects, and builders. Together, they create a place that captures the spark of inspiration. Almost immediately, the complex becomes known as Radio City, as broadcasts from within these walls reach around the globe. In the 1930s, radio programs broadcasting from studios just a few floors above you are heard in homes across America. Movie stars, famous comedians, and a world-class symphony orchestra played live from 30 Rock Studio 8H, the largest radio studio in the world. With television, the performers in these studios became welcome guests in our homes. From the time we wake up to late in the evening, they are a part of the family. And every Saturday, America tunes into Studio 8H. Live from New York, it's Saturday night. And high above it all, on the 65th floor, is the legendary Rainbow Room, where New York comes to celebrate. Good evening, and welcome to the Rainbow Room at the top of Rockefeller Center. Here, to step in the door is to feel like a celebrity. As you visit today, you'll feel the energy and the magic that is Rockefeller Center. And trust me, that feeling never goes away. We say welcome everybody and everybody is welcome. Just like those first construction workers knew, it wouldn't be Christmas at Rockefeller Center without a tree. Rockefeller Center has always been a place of inspiration and celebration. And the story is far from over. A story that you are now a part of. <laughs> 